Hey everyone, welcome back to Fun with Flags. Today, we're gonna talk about the history and meaning of the Swedish flag. Now, Sweden has been around for a while. Some of its first inhabitants are very well known, the Vikings. But as we know, flags only came to use kind of late in history. And despite the fact that Vikings had some standard symbols and maybe what one could actually consider as flags, they didn't represent Sweden as a country, just the Viking culture. So since this video is about Sweden's flag, we have to fast forward a few hundred years. The birth of Sweden is related to Christianity and the conversion to Christianity from Norse paganism. Now, it's important to say that this next initial part of the story is viewed as mythology and its likeliness to be real is obviously not confirmed. It dates back to the 12th century, 1157, when the first Swedish crusade is said to have taken place. A military expedition to southwest Finland with the aim of converting defense to Christianity, led by King Eric IX. Legend says that as he landed, King Eric saw a golden cross in the sky, and seeing it as a sign from God, he adopted it as his flag. King Eric was then the founder of the House of Eric, which ruled Sweden or parts of it on and off from 1156 to 1250. But there are other theories for the origin of the flag. Some say that it was created by King Charles VIII, in 1442, who some also say introduced the coat of arms of Sweden, three yellow crowns on a blue background, then using the model of the Danish flag and adapting it with these different colors. And others claim that the flag was initially blue with a white cross, being changed to yellow by King Gustav I. And the images that we see of old flags from that time are in fact blue and white, but this might be because the yellow has faded away and now looks white. The explanation which seems the most logical for me is the second one, an adaptation of the Danish flag with the colors of Sweden's coat of arms. Especially because in its early history, Sweden was often united with Denmark, like when the Kalmar Union took place in the 14th century, then recovering its independence in 1523. And even apart from that, Denmark's flag was one of the first in the world, if not the actual first, so it would make sense that any new flag would be modeled after it, especially because of the cultural proximity. So I guess we can't be 100% sure of how the flag was invented. Its exact age is also unknown. The oldest official record, which lasts until today, is from 1562, a royal warrant which describes the Swedish flag as blue with a yellow cross. In 1663, the flag changed, not in the colors, but in its shape. For civil and military uses, the flag should be rectangular with a triple tail, and merchant ships at sea should use a square version of the flag. There was also a specific flag, all blue and also triple tailed, used by the archipelago fleet who was assigned to defending the archipelago on Sweden's coastline. Now we move on to more recent times, the 1800s. During this time, Sweden was in a temporary union with Norway, who had recently gotten its independence from Denmark. Initially, from 1818 to 1844, the flag was the Swedish flag, with a red canton with a white cross. This was because when it first got its independence from Denmark, Norway used their old ruler's flag for a short period of time. And so, in the new Union flag, the white cross on the red canton was there to symbolize Norway. Eventually, Norway got its own flag which we know. And a new common flag was created, a mix of the two countries' flags. What's strange is that this flag wasn't commonly used, Instead, it was used as a canton in each of the country's flags to represent the Union, but they still used their own national flags, only resorting to the Union flag in diplomatic events. With more and more dissatisfaction with the Union, the common canton was gradually removed from the flags until the Union officially came to an end in 1905. 
A year later, in 1906, the Swedish flag changed one last time. The civil flag became rectangular. The blue color was changed to a lighter tone of blue. And the private use of the triple-tailed version of the flag was prohibited, being reserved to the royal standard of Sweden, the royal family's flag and naval usage. And that is the Swedish flag today, a yellow Nordic cross on a blue background. The Nordic cross represents Christianity, at the origin of Sweden's birth as a country. As for the colors, if you are to believe the legend, they refer to the golden cross on a blue sky, which King Eric supposedly saw in his crusade. Although, the most probable reason is that the colors originated from Sweden's coat of arms, the three yellow crowns on a blue field. A coat of arms which is still today a symbol of Sweden. Originally, it's said to have been created by Albrecht of Mecklenburg in the 14th century, who brought the symbol from Germany as a sign of his rule over Sweden, Finland and Mecklenburg. But later research proved this not to be true because of a frieze in France dating back to before that, which contains the same symbol in representation of Sweden. In fact, it has been found in the shield of Magnus Ladulas, who ruled Sweden even before that, in the late 13th century. Today, some say that the three crowns represent the provinces of Uppsala, which were responsible for electing the king, or the three crown gods of Uppsala, or the three wise men, or the three kingdoms of King Marcus, Sweden, Norway, and Scania. To sum it up, there's a lot of speculation for the origin of the crowns, but they are likely to be the origin of the colors on the flag. Throughout the world, the Swedish flag has influenced some other flags, like the provincial flag of Southwest Finland, the flag of Wilmington, Delaware in the US, the flag of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, also in the US, which might refer to the Swedish colony which once existed in the region, and the flag of Verona in Italy. There's even a football club which, according to legend, had its colors inspired by the Swedish flag, Boca Juniors in Argentina. So that is the history and meaning of the Swedish flag. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you liked it, make sure to subscribe and leave a comment with any opinion, corrections you may have or suggestions for the next videos. Until next time.